Ooh, I'm excited about this one. I'll tell you what, check it out. This is the Domi Fan touchscreen monitor. So this is a portable monitor, a 1080p monitor, 60 hertz refresh, 1001 contrast ratio, which they consider to be the ultimate 15.6 touchscreen for work and play. So I wanna thank the folks from Domi Fan for getting this over to me to be able to share with you all because one of the things that I've been looking for is a very compact, easy to use portable monitor. I have in the past taken a laptop and converted that into portable monitor, but the quality of that screen wasn't so great. That was more of just a, like a little bit of project. I'll actually put a link up at the top for you to be able to check that one out, but I'm really excited about this one. It kind of looks a little bit like an iPad on a stand, um, but like I said, I've been looking for a small, uh, my desk isn't that huge, so I wanted a smaller sort of uh, accessible screen that if I wanted to hook my phone up to, or if I wanted to hook up uh, my computer to, um, with touchscreen technology and a built-in keyboard, I could do that. So let's open this thing up and check it out. All right, so the box basically comes out of its sleeve. And inside, you have this nice little foam packaging. Well, this packaging is actually very sturdy and very nice. Ooh. And look at this. So as far as items that it has, it shows you right here basically that you have a Type-C connection right here, uh, USB 2.0, 12 to 480 megabit per second, two ports right here, a uh, little LED to show you the status of the, L of the monitor, and a PD charging port. So that's awesome. We'll have to check this out. So here is the monitor itself. And in the box, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable. We also have another USB-C to USB-C cable and another cable that I have absolutely no clue what it does. We'll have to open this up and check it out. So this looks to be an HDMI on one side leading to a USB-C, a USB-A, and another USB-A. We'll have to check it out and see specifically how this works. I think they've got some instructions right here to show you exactly how that cable works. Um, in the box, you also have this, what well, looks to be a quick start manual. So yeah, this one here is a USB-C to HDMI to USB-A. So before we get it hooked up, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. Okay, so right off the bat, it's actually a pretty big screen. Um, this is a 15.6 inch screen. Uh, looks about the size of actually basically a laptop, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and pull this off right here. Ooh, I don't wanna get any fingerprints on this. Ha <laughs> All right, so on the back here, you can see that they have multiple ways that you can stand this up. Okay, so you have the feet that come out like this, but it also has dual feet, right? So if you don't want such a high angle, you can bring the smaller feet out that give you an angle of something like this. To basically be able to point it towards yourself just a little bit. So if we take the larger feet out, it's pretty obvious what that's gonna do. It's gonna give you a little bit more of an angle sort of facing in your direction. And then last but not least, they have a complete stand that you can use. So check this out. So basically they have a stand that you can use to set down to be able to stand the monitor up sort of in whatever angle, uh, full 360 degree rotation of the monitor. So if, depending on what situation you wanna use it in, if you're using it over here or if you're using it over here, it's very easy to slide around. So as far as the ports go, one thing I wanna make sure that you all know before we hook it up is that if your laptop supports a full featured Type-C interface uh, with PD charging and all that kind of stuff, all you need to do is connect the USB-C to the USB-C on your laptop and that way all you need is the monitor and the cable itself. So that's super easy, right? That's USB-C to USB-C, okay? My situation here is that I'm not using a laptop, I'm actually using a computer right here with an HDMI out port, right? So I think I have to go ahead and use this right here. So I think what I end up having to do is this red is considered a power supply, right? So I have to provide power to the monitor itself. And then this one here is for data transfer specifically. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook all three of these up to my computer and then go ahead and hook this up to the monitor.
Alrighty, so now that I've got the red cable hooked up, so basically hooked that up to a power port, uh, plugged it into the top port here for USB-C. Now, like I said before, if you do have a laptop that supports PD charging, I think this works perfect for that um, because you all you have to do is hook up the USB-C to USB-C and it immediately starts working. This one I had to use, which is very nice, the fact that they provided the HDMI port as well as the power built-in cable. That is awesome. I haven't seen that before. Go ahead and tilt this upwards so you might be able to see it. So now that I've got this set up and I've got it recording here, you can see OBS right here. I'm gonna go ahead and extend this display. So now I've got myself basically a second monitor that you can see here. So now if I wanted to, I can go ahead and drag screens basically between each one of the different monitors, just like a standard multiple monitor setup. Okay, so this also does have the ability to have a full touch screen um, if you wanna use this specifically with the touch screen as if it's a tablet. And we'll go ahead and, and look at the back here. You see this right here? This tab right here will actually pull out of the slot itself, okay? And it'll be able to slide into the other stand, the other side right here, and be able to give you a monitor in a vertical position. If you wanted to have this next to your main monitor and have like your Discord or your chat while you're live streaming, uh, it depends exactly how you want to be able to use the product. But I really like the ability to have that vertical screen. One of the things I'll do is when I'm editing, I'd like to have an extra monitor a little off to the side that allows me to have basically my timeline, whether or not I want to have it in this portrait mode or have it in the landscape mode. Either way, I can go ahead and, and try that out. Now, one thing to remember is that this is a touchscreen monitor. Um, if you have touchscreen support, um, I don't have it on this one, but I can show you the feature. If you have support for it on your computer, um, it has actually a built-in keyboard. Now that's pretty nice. Um, I think if you wanted to, you might be able to use basically the Windows built-in keyboard, but this one has one built in. So let me go ahead and show you how that's done. So all you have to do is this is the power button up here. If you go ahead and click it, you'll see that it's loading and then it shows the keyboard here. So you're basically able to go come in here and use the keyboard. So type in tech full goodies. And there you go. So if I was, if I had a word open or something like that open, I could basically use that there. So what I'm trying to say is that this gives you a lot of functionalities that a lot of monitors don't give you. The build quality on this monitor is exceptional. It actually feels almost, if not better quality than like one of the high-end iPads, brand new M1 iPads. The flexibility to basically be able to hook it up through HDMI or USB-C. I believe the PD charging is a pass-through charger. So if you do hook this up, it's almost like you have a docking station built in. So if you hook up USB-C to USB-C, you'll be able to hook that up to your laptop, have an external monitor, also, with this port here on the side, the PD charging port, you can hook up charging and that will allow you to basically charge your laptop at the same time as using this external monitor. Having it built into an external monitor like this is extremely important. And like I said, it's got two super speed USB-C ports that allow you to be able to hook up all your peripherals at the same time. So this is an absolutely incredible unit. One thing to note too is that it does have built-in speakers. Uh, on the bottom here, you can see them if I hold it up like this. If you wanna turn off the built-in keyboard, you can just click it again. And it basically, it's almost like it loads up the ability to be able to have a pass-through for the keyboard to your main machine. But again, going back to this, I mean, this is incredible. I'm absolutely loving this external monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and use it now for next couple of months or whatever, but if you're watching this video and you have any questions about any setup or any concerns, let me know and I'll let you know how it's been working for me. I will leave the link down below. Thanks to the folks from DomiFan for sending this over to me to check out. So again, this is the 15.6 1080p portable monitor from DomiFan. It does have a built-in sort of docking station for your laptop. If you're looking for an another sort of monitor for your laptop on a desk. I think this would work out perfectly. But again, like I said, I will leave the link down below from DomiFan. 
excellent. I'm super excited to have something like this to use on a daily basis. And again, thanks for joining me here at my desk. I'm Carl from Techful Goodies, and I just hang out here and sort of go over cool gadgets and, and check them out. Make sure that they're at least worth our time or our money. If you like this video, click a thumbs up for me. That would be awesome. And if you want to subscribe, even better. I'd love to see you back. Toss a comment down below, say what's up. Um, but other than that, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.